責めないで消さないで負けないで誰だってもてるはず譲れないもの Hello, viewers! The Sax Antonio here, welcoming you back to more Let's Play Pokemon Crystal. In the last, I guess, half episode, uh, we caught ourselves a Heracross, which we called Jobin after a certain character in Part 8 of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, because I'm not original. Uh, I did a little bit of grinding off screen outside of, you know, <laughs> the two people in the back. Um, I got everyone up to level 15, Half-Baked still level 22. I th think that's probably good enough, if not, eh, whatever. So now we can finally enter Goldenrod City! <laughs> but, yes. So, in Goldenrod City we can find ourselves in the playground. Goldenrod City Game Corner, eh? But I don't think we can play, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Uh, no, no. I'm not quite sure I remember. But, um... Oh, I think the gym's past the train tracks. Our next gym we have to face is right here. Who will it be? Why, it's it, in fact... Whitney! The incredibly pretty girl. Incredible, blah, blah, blah. Incredibly. Blooming beautiful flower shop. Have you seen that wiggly tree that's growing on Route 36? My little sister got all excited and went to see it. I'm worried. Isn't it dangerous? I mean, it's a tree. It's not like it can do much. <laughs> um, Route 36 is just up ahead. For those of you who do not know... Uh, -do 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 -do. I think the school is around here somewhere. Oh, the name raider's over here. Um, the underground. Let's see, there's a railroad that I don't think is relevant until post-game. <laughs> Goldenrod City Station. If I'm not mistaken, at least. And, uh, a familiar guy. Or at least, a uh, familiarly dressed guy. So this is the radio tower. What do you want, you pest scram? All right, Starscream, give me a break. I'm just a little... <laughs> I'm just a girl in the big city, alone. <laughs> Alrighty, so... Whitney here specializes in normal-type Pokemon. Which is, um... Currently, we don't have anything that's super effective against normal-types, because the only thing that normal-types are weak to are fighting-types. And even then, that's kind of a challenge, because normal types are generally pretty tanky. They usually just have high HP values, and most of the time a higher defense than special defense, but it, you know, it differs. Pause. Okay, I'm recording. Go. Sorry about that, I had to check on something real quick. What do you got to say? Yo, champ in the making! This gym is the home of normal type Pokemon trainers. I recommend you use fighting type Pokemon. Well, we don't really have any. Nor do we have moves. Well, technically we, we do have a fighting type Pokemon in Heracross. But um, his move set is... Uh, <laughs> could leave a little bit more to be desired. He has Horn Attack, Fury Cutter, Leer, and Endure. But he's got a hell of an attack stat, let me tell you. For level 15... He's got more attack than I believe every Pokemon in our party. <laughs> yeah, of course. And it's like by a wide margin, too. Like, 22 with Onyx, 29 with Dopey, which I find weird. <laughs> um, 37 with our level 22 Quilava. But 48! It's pretty ridiculous. The Heracross is really very generously statted. But, um, it's mostly because he's a single form Pokemon and doesn't get an evolution. Until much, much, much later. Give it your best shot, or I'll take you down! 
Okay, no holds bar. They just want us to go. Also, we're blocked off from this path now. Beauty Samantha wants to battle. A Meowth? Shouldn't be too bad. It's just a Meowth. Alrighty. So, Fury Cutter is like the bug type rollout. It's kind of weak, but gets powered up every time you land it. And I think it only has 90 accuracy, but Horn Attack does some decent damage. I think it's got like 65 power. But, um, coins scattered everywhere. I was say, a couple of Horn Attacks should be able to just get uh, Jobin through this. This is just be some good experience for Jobin as well. Because he will not get a fighting type move for a while, unfortunately. And he won't get a good bug type move, I think, ever? <laughs> I think Fury Cutter's the best we got. Um, what is she sending out? I fucking wasn't paying attention. <laughs> uh, we'll just say no. Oh, there's another meow. <laughs> oh, man. So, uh, how have y'all been out there? I've been alright. <laughs> Uh, lacking motivation is probably definitely been the topic of the day. <laughs> or the topic of the week. The topic of the last five months. But, um, it's been getting better. Um, I'm glad to be back. I've, I've, I've gotten an urge to just record again. I'm gonna send something to mom, because I picked up. 64! Oh, that's right! <laughs> Payday actually drops money, I forgot about that. But, uh, I've been getting uh, the urge to record again, and I, I think that's for the better, mostly. Um, we could switch out Jobin for somebody else, like, uh, like Dopey. Well, that's not what I meant to do. But I was thinking about, uh, doing some other stuff, like maybe going back to Coin Crypt, because I recently just started replaying that series, and I forgot how much I actually really adore that game. And think it is just a well-made game. Well, no, okay, it's it's an it's an okay roguelike. I just think it's overlooked. What do we got? Beauty Victoria wants to battle. She sends out a Sentret. We got Dopey though. So we got Water Gun, we got Tackle, we got Curse, we got Growl. I forgot that's all we have. But it's a level 9, so it shouldn't be that bad. Use the Water Gun! Best use Dopey as much as we can while he lasts. Is it heat? It is a heat. Um, <laughs> because... Uh, he's temporary. We, we got another Water Type in mind. It'll just take a little bit before we can actually get there. But it, it would help to have a water type. Uh, just because a water type is generally pretty good to have. I don't know. I don't think he becomes part psychic type until he's a slow bro. Or slow king. But he might be part psychic type. Um, now, Dopey can stay in there. Dopey, Dopey is very tanky. Well, not very tanky, but decently tanky against these... Kind of lower level guys. Um, it, it's it's not gonna be too much of a problem until we hit Whitney because Whitney's got one of the most annoying Pokemon in an early game in almost any generation outside of like maybe Brawly, just because of the lack of just things you can have for Brawly. That might have just been me though. <laughs> The last time I played, um, Emerald. Uh, Sentry. Just a team of Sentrits, alright. Call him Sly Cooper. Cause it's Raccoon! Get it? No. But no, Whitney has... A very infamous mill tank. Um... <laughs> and it'll be a problem. Oh wow, this Sentry's actually got a decent amount of special defense. But you missed the Fury Swipes. Meowth would be so disappointed. I'm actually going to curse. Because I knew it was going to do something like this. Oh, 
Honestly, that actually may have done something because we were actually faster than the sentry. I didn't even think about that. Um, but no, yeah, let's use tackle. Nope. Okay, go back to water gun, I guess, because this probably shouldn't do much. <laughs> nope. But this is a special attack. So it should bypass most of the defense curls. I mean, it will, but like, it's still just not going to do a lot of good damage. Unfortunately. <laughs> but, uh, Dopey's tanky enough. He lived. I lived, bitch. Let's see. Oops, it's over. They really make the beauties kind of like dumb <laughs> in the older generations. Um, yeah, we could switch out. Um, let's, let's switch out to Rocky. He's like none of the normal types, I think, have any special attacks, so it should be fine. Does she only have the two? I feel like there was four. I don't know why. There's definitely three. Oh, I completely l overlooked that line. Well, looks will fool you. They can whip you. They can whip me? Oh man, I thought I was done with whippings. Last carry wants to battle. A snobble! You would become a fairy type later on, and I honestly don't get it. <laughs> but level 18 is nothing to scoff at, so... I think we'll start things off with a screech. Just to destroy that defense. Use bite. Oh, that actually is a special defense or a special attack. So uh let's maybe we should have started things off with the mud slap. Oops. Accuracy fell. Bite again. I think Rocky's dead. Ooh. Just living. Okay, get in a rock throw. <laughs> Damn. I forgot that they have bite. But it failed! Let's go. I think a rock throw should be able to do it. Oh, that mud slap came in key, I'm gonna assume. But, um, yeah, all dark type moves are special in this gen, so... That bite really, really <laughs> made use of, uh, or took advantage of Rocky's one weakness here. Well, I mean, he doesn't have a lot of special attack, but he's not gonna get any, because he's a rock ground type. <laughs> Who will become steel type. Darn, I thought you were weak. Crystal got 432 polka dollars for winning. Well, I ain't weak. I am the world's strongest. Okay, I was right. There are four. Um, Quilaba will make short work of them, though. I was just trying to get through all of this without having to go to a Pokemon Center and tell Whitney. Something about cute Pokemon better than... Or like, I like cute Pokemon better than strong Pokemon, but I have strong and cute Pokemon. I guess she said some people. I don't know. I haven't been up. <laughs> you can tell it's been a while. I'm just trying to blitz through. Last Bridget wants to battle. I think between the last time I played Crystal and now, a new, a whole ass Pokemon generation came out with Sword and Shield. If I'm not mistaken. Either that or it just come out when I started <laughs> the last episode of Crystal. Uh, Jigglypuff. And let's just do Ember. I think she's more special defensive than she is defensive. That might be Clefairy. I, I forget which. Ooh, that's good. Short work. <laughs> just the half-baked and the red eyes. It's so good. But, um, Sword and Shield was okay. Like, I think it was good, but I'm not changing my Pokemon. What am I doing? I think it was good, but, um, there was a point where I just stopped caring, really. And I stopped playing after the Ice Town. I got Shield because I wanted that Galarian Ponyta. Um, but I stopped playing around the Ice Town. 
and like I just I didn't go back to it for months and then I finally went back to it um beat the last gym leader and then beat the game and it, and it it was a little better when I went back to it than I remembered but and I don't know the initial climb just felt different and weird and it, it just kind of felt like, I don't know how to put it. It felt like a log with, like a hollow log, I guess is the best way to put it. it. It just felt like there was nothing there outside of the shell. It was very hollow. That, oh, okay, it was a crit. I was going to say, that is kind of incredible. Last Bridget was defeated. Oh, no, 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 no. She turns to like a witch and just flies off. Uh, yeah, so, um, I'll continue that thought in just a moment. I will be right back after I've healed up. Okay, we're back. Um, although I probably want to switch out the, maybe put out Rocky first, because he's got the highest defense. I forget what she has first. She might have a Jigglypuff, I'm not sure. Or it might be something dumb. I don't remember. But no, yeah, I think with mostly with Sword and Shield, it was that I I just had really high expectations. Pokemon are super cute. You want to battle? I'm warning you. I'm good. I always thought Whitney was a bit of a tomboy. I mean, just look at that stance. Leader Whitney wants to battle. Sent out. It was a Clefairy. Okay. I, I don't know why I thought it was a Jigglypuff. But... Yeah, I think I just had really high expectations, so... After coming off of Alola, especially, because I loved Alola. Oh no, this could be bad. Dragon Breath? Doesn't that just 240 damage? Okay, no. Oh, but it's got the paralysis! What is this? Oh, come on. Yo, that's... That's rough. Okay, you tried to mimic even though you know you're going first. Oh, man. Double slap. Shouldn't do much. Not only is it not very effective, but Rocky has 48 defense. Which was the reason I wanted to put him out in the first place, but fuck, paralysis. Double slap. Here comes two whole damage. Oh. Whoa. Hit four times. Ah. Metronome, and here's the water gun. Sing. Well, it... Getting fully paralyzed twice in a row is really freaking annoying. Um... Okay. Double slap. And it just straight up missed, thanks to Mud Slap. Okay, and now we move first again, because we're no longer paralyzed. And Onyx is deceptively fast for some reason there we go and here comes the mill tank we're gonna keep rocky in because he has the screech so roll out i was gonna say it's also not very effective so even though it's gonna keep increasing in power um oh also hitting him with the mud slap might help as well because rollout doesn't have 100% accuracy so lowering the accuracy of a move <laughs> that doesn't hit all the time okay we have a super potion lower the accuracy of an already non 100% move that gets stronger every time it hits it's gonna be a little bit helpful so I think yeah, here we go because once it misses, it resets the damage back to its original, which was already not much. It does have Stomp, I forgot about that. Or she, it's a, it's a girl mill tank, which I guess makes sense. But Stomp is also annoying because it's A, kind of a powerful normal attack, but it can also paralyze, or flinch, if I'm not mistaken. This thing's fast, too. Rock throw. I 
think it also has milk drink. I'm not sure. But um, with the move setup we have on Rocky, it should be fine. Um, yeah, it's got milk drink. So, unfortunately, we won't get the upper hand on it from attacking unless we do some more screeches, I feel. Used milk drink again, eh? But, no, yeah, the move setup we have on Rocky should help with uh, this mill tank just because all of its attacks are not very effective. Rocky has a really high defense against these physical attacks. And Rocky had a... Oh, good. Rocky has an accuracy reducing move in Mud Slap. Yeesh. And, of course, Rocky flinched. There we go. These are kind of cheesy tactics, but, like, trust me, this mill tank is a fucking beast. Otherwise, so... You want to basically try and one-shot it from yellow, because it's just going to keep using Milk Drink. Or you just want to have Pokemon that are high enough level to where they can be faster. It's really kind of like a coin flip whether Milk Tank's just going to use Milk Drink or not. Because, yeah, it's just, as I was going to say, it's probably just going to use it again. I'm th not sure, but I'm pretty sure the Pokemon have PP. Like, enemy Pokemon have PP. I'm, again, I'm not entirely sure. Because I think they might have taken that out at some point. Uh -huh. The fence won't go down any farther. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And, like, our one rock throw is doing decent damage, but... Um... If Rocky does end up dying, I think the next Pokemon we sub in would be... Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Would be um, Heracross, because Heracross will absolutely one-hit this thing with one horn attack. Mud Slap, because it won't do a lot of damage. So hopefully it'll not Milk Drink. Oh, it didn't! Just have to hit the Rock Throw. I think that's it. We did it! That's a lot of experience going to Rocky, too. <laughs> That's another thing. Normal types usually also are worth a lot of experience. Whew. Look at that defense. Holy. <laughs> wow, you're mean. You shouldn't be so serious, you, you child, you. I forgot that... <laughs> I forgot how Whitney... <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I completely forgot about this. <laughs> How did I forget? I guess it's just that I haven't played Crystal in a while, but Crystal's my favorite, so... I forget that Whitney is just a crybaby. Maybe it's because I've been playing Heart Gold still, so... No, I think she does the same in that, too. I have no idea. Allows your strength outside of battle. Also boosts your Pokemon speed. I did not know that actually happened. What? No, 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 I did, I did. What am I talking about? And then I think she gives us rollout. Oh, it's attract. It would be great if she gave us rollout, but no. She just gives us a poopy move. Um, and since I went and healed, this al <laughs> this pathway back here is actually open, so we can just go down and back around. Aha. Uh -huh. Do you say anything? You won? Great! I was busy admiring the ladies here. Okay, all right, I'm, I'm leaving. <laughs> because, uh, those ladies are very underage. Alrighty, so, now that we've defeated Whitney, you can stop over at the department store, because this has a lot of things. Especially after you've beaten the gym, so you actually have money. 
And I mean, you know, after beating a lot of the trainers, you you you'll get some cash. But um, how much how much money do I have? Uh, nine thousand. That's not actually not a lot. But um, there's some useful TMs, some more you know, standard Pokeball battle item stuff. But uh, the department store is a pretty good place to stock up on things if you need to. <laughs> I got in trouble for playing in the basement of the department store. <laughs> what? I didn't even know there was a basement. Is that an accessible thing, or is that just a uh, conjecture? Welcome to the Goldenrod Department Store. Let's say I don't think there's a basement. Oh wow, there is. It shows you how much I I'm just, I feel like I learn new shit all the time, despite the fact that I've played this game possibly the most. Excuse me? This is that like a macho? Macho! What the hell? <laughs> There's just shit everywhere. Yeah, there's just a bunch of boxes. Ooh-ah! Ooh-ah! The stuff's on the ground- or the stuff on the ground's junk. Take it if you want it. Uh... Can't move it. I think... I lose my passion for work if someone's watching. Come on, kid, scoot. Hey kid, you're holding us up. Our policy is to work behind the scenes when no one can see us. I'm pretty sure that, like, throughout the progression of the game, these boxes will just disappear. Like, I think this one just got moved. Probably. And then, like, that door will open, essentially. Or, I don't fucking know. And maybe there are just good items in here that you can randomly get. Um. This is new knowledge to me. Let me tell you. That's honestly kind of cool and kind of funny that I didn't know this. To be fair, I don't actually go to the department store that often. I go there to get, like, some TMs, and that's it. <laughs> I think the only time I really go there for a TM is to get Ice Punch. But I won't be needing that this time around. If you treat your Pokemon nicely, they will love you in return. Oh, let me see your Onyx. It's quite cute. Right, you, I think this person is, like, the person, like, they can, um, it rates, like, the happiness of your Pokemon, because that was a new thing added into this game, because they added the baby-type Pokemon with, um, technically Togepi, but, um, Happiny, I think, no, Happiny might be fucking <laughs> Gen 4, uh, Magby, Elekid, Pichu, no, I think Happiny was added in this. No, it was just Blissey. Um, who are the other big? Oh, Tyrogue. I feel like I'm missing one. But uh, the baby type Pokemon's and a couple of others like uh, Golbat evolved from. Oh, and Eevee evolved from Happiness. So, treating them correctly. The world is a psychopath. Oh, this is the bike shop! I knew there was something around here. <sighs> I moved here, but I can't sell my bicycles. Why is that? Could you ride a bicycle and advertise, or, and advertise for me? Sure! Really? Great! Give me your name and phone number, and I'll loan you my bicycle. Yay! My bicycles are first rate. You can ride them anywhere. I mean, you should probably get like a better location. You're behind all of these, you know, muffin buildings. Alrighty. Well, we have a bike now. That's cool as shit. That's not going to be where it is. So, we can select this. So that now, 
We have a bike! <laughs> Woo! Well, I think that's a good place to stop. We defeated Whitney after a long fought battle. We got a bike. So I think uh, on the next episode, we shall head up to Route 36 and see what travels we have. No, not in the gym. <laughs> what we can do uh, over there. So this is the Sax Antonio signing off. See you guys next time.